Hi, this is Natalie Lucier, and I'll be showing you how to use Google AdWords keyword tool to help you find keywords that will help people find your website on the internet when they're using search engines. So here we are on the Google AdWords external keyword tool, and all you have to do is type in a word or a phrase that relates to your website. So what I suggest is to think like the person who is searching for your services or your products. So if you have, let's say, a healthy or green um, products business where you have beauty products that are toxic free, you might think about how people are searching for your stuff. So it might be... Um, non-toxic beauty products, it might be non-toxic um, beauty product reviews, it might be chemical free beauty products, chemical free product reviews, uh, it might be all kinds of things like um, toxins in lipstick, it might be toxins in makeup, it might be makeup without chemicals, or makeup without toxic uh, fillers. So just think about how people would be searching for your website. And I want you to come up with as many as you can. Um, you want to come up with some main keywords for your main website, but you also want to come up with keywords for each of your articles. So let's just say that this is going to be the keywords that we use for the main website. So now we just fill out this little uh, CAPTCHA form that is uh, meant to thwart uh, bots, basically. Oh, sorry. Okay, so there we go. Had to put it in again. So now what that does is it will actually search and figure out uh, how many people are searching for the keywords that we entered. So as you can see here, you can see the keywords here, the competition, so that means how many other websites are writing about the exact same thing that you are and using these keywords. And then you also see the monthly uh, searches. So for non-toxic beauty products, we're getting about 73 people per month. So I have to tell you that's not a huge number if you compare it to beauty products which is you know 246,000 which is really big um, and you know it can go up to millions and stuff depending on how popular your topic is uh, and then the same is for local monthly searches so that's just using local data so depending on where you live it'll um, pick that up as well so what I recommend is to pick something that is not in this huge range but that's not also like say you know, five searches per month or whatever. So I would actually say that these are great keywords to use when it comes to um, articles and smaller articles and smaller pages on your website. So I might not necessarily use them for your main website, but uh, it will definitely work well as sort of a long tail um, strategy. So what that means is that you you don't have as much competition. So if you're looking at here at these chemical free cosmetics, the competition is higher than non toxic beauty products, which we have here. So that will give you an advantage uh, when you're writing an article. You can write an article titled "Not Toxic Beauty Products." and how to find them or something like that. And that'll give you an advantage because there aren't as many other websites writing about this. And you might not get you know, thousands of people per month, but you will be number one for that keyword or very high on the page for search engines for that word. So what I'm gonna recommend is actually also to look at the other recommended keywords. So these are the ones, the ones that are bolder, the ones that we entered. And then these are other ones that uh, Google thought were related. So organic beauty products is definitely related, health and beauty, beauty skin products, chemical free cosmetics, all of these are related keywords. And it's great to have um, other ideas about what people are searching for. So maybe face beauty products and then chemical free or toxic free uh, sample, you know, so that way that gives you an idea of what people are searching for. And it gives you an idea of how to frame your content and your keywords. So that's basically how you use the Google keyword search tool and I really recommend that you do this for your main website using keywords that you think people are searching for 
for your overall website and also to do it for each blog post and each article that you write. Again, this has been Natalie Lucier, and thank you for watching.